let's get warmed up. This is a simple movement sequence to get you into your body, lengthened, engaged. So take a few breaths here, shake your body around, arrive, and we will hop right into it. So first off, we're gonna go into some nice extension through the whole body, lifting the arms above the head. Exhale, bringing the arms back. Inhale, up. Exhale, back. Here I'm really focused on extending through my heart, getting length and connection through the front of the body. And then exhale down right here, going into my hips. Feel free to use as much knee bend as you need to right there to really feel that loading through your hips. Keeping that breath consistent and fluid with your motion here. Now we're gonna take it into some lateral flexion here. So I'm gonna reach one hand over my head and press the other hand in front of my body right there. So I'm getting some length on one side and then some shortening on the other side, continuing to reach through my arms in both directions. And then I really wanna focus on pressing those feet into the ground so I've got a better feel of where my hips are and connection through those hips. Now I can really lengthen through the rib cage, through the spine as I go through this movement. Finding your own flow with your breath here. You can think about inhaling in the center, exhale as you go into that side bend. Keep it rolling here for just a few more reps each side. Awesome. Wiggle it out. We're gonna go into the next series here. So this is the 4S series. We're gonna start standing here, really getting that posture going. We're gonna hinge at the hips, going into the skier. Bowing the knees out here, going into the squinge. So a combination of the squat and the hinge. And then sinking down into a deep squat. In that deep squat, before you go into that straight leg right there, you're probably gonna be on the ball of your foot. I actually like that so you can get deeper into the hips. So chop the hips, bow the knees out as you start to sink into your hips and your knees. Continue to pull yourself to the ground and then straighten those legs out with a nice exhale, really getting into those legs. Standing up straight right there, chopping the hips, pressing those hips back, bowing the knees out, hands come down to the ground, exhale up. Let's go ahead and get one more here. Beautiful. Stand up, shake it out for a sec, and we're gonna go right back into it, chopping at the hips, going down to the deep squat, and here you can see the heels off the ground. I want you to keep rolling with this for about another 30 seconds at your own pace. No need to have any sort of attachment to how many reps you're doing. Really revel in each one of these positions. Feel strong in your standing position, strong in your hinge, strong in that squinge position, and then the deep squat, taking that tension back into your hamstrings. Awesome, shake it out. We're gonna go right back into that with a slight variation in just a moment. Now before we do that, let's get into the ankles. So shift your weight over to one side, pull the toes back towards your face, and we're just gonna get some nice ankle circles. One thing I like to think about here as I go through the ankle circle is drawing a circle with my pinky toe. Now this really allows me to get that whole circle. Reverse in directions here, standing tall through your body. I'm not gonna do it in this demo here, but if you are going to challenge your balance, what you can do is simply look at your surroundings. Take those eyes around you, look around. Let's go ahead and switch sides, right back into drawing a circle with your pinky toe. Taking your time, if this seems really fast for you in terms of that tempo, I'd much rather you go fewer reps and really get to know your ankle today. Reverse directions. Breathe in, standing tall. 
want to challenge your balance, take a look around. I've got some great scenery here. Highly recommend doing this outside if you can. All right, so now we're going to go into some knee circles. So we're going to chop the hips back. And as you go through the knee circles, I really want you to focus on building connection in the lower uh, or just the lower body here, right? So the ankle, the knees, and the hips go ahead and reverse directions. A lot of times you can just kind of go through this motion and yes, you get some motion in there, great, but really want to feel that engagement all the way from your feet up through your hip and seeing what supports that knee in this circular movement. Awesome job, shake it out. We're gonna go into the 5S series now. So chopping at the hips, sinking down into your deep squat, and then extending one leg back, opening up through the heart right there with the T-spine. Switching sides here, opening up through the T-spine. So as you take that leg back right here, keep going with alternating here, you're going to notice a pivot not only on that back foot, but also on the front. And if this is something that you can manage right here, being on the ball of the foot of that front leg, it's gonna allow you to feel more pivot through the lower body, through the hips, and then allowing you to feel this nice ringing out of the towel through the whole body here. Feel free to pause this if you need to take a look. We're gonna go into a different angle here. Go ahead and straighten the legs up, stand tall, and we're gonna chop right back. And you can see this different angle here. Feel free to pause it. Extending back right there, as I open up, I pivot that heel away on the back leg, and that helps me get into that spiral, into that rotation. You can see right here really nicely in the video, that I got the heel off the ground on the front leg here or the front foot. And that again allows me to feel a little bit more of that pivot all the way up through the hip there. Okay, so really want to feel that twisting happening at the pelvis level. So your pelvis is going to shift with the rotation and you're going to feel some rotation uh, in the hip joints here as well. Awesome job. Again, shake it out. I know those positions, a lot of tension. Great thing for your body to really get into it with tension. And then of course, shake it out. We're gonna take it into some scapular circles here. So just rolling the shoulders back, feeling the engagement through that whole circle right there. And this is a great opportunity again, where you could see how you could just kind of do this to get into the movement. But then, let's go ahead and reverse directions. If you're really engaged through the shoulder blades here, through those shoulders, you're gonna feel stuff start to heat up. Maybe get a little fatigued, and that is a good sign to better understand where your shoulders are moving from. Now we're gonna alternate here, ro rolling one shoulder back at a time and you're gonna notice a little bit more of this T-spine movement. So we're getting some nice rotation, oscillation through this area, little side bend action. So I encourage you to feel those pockets of the shoulders, feel the lats, breathe into it, keep it rolling. Awesome. We're gonna take it into some shoulder circles here. So standing tall, engaging through those feet, and then I'm going a little quick here, so if you need a little bit more connection through the shoulder, I definitely recommend going a little slower, but just feeling all points of that circle. We're gonna stick those thumbs up, like we're doing really good right now, and then roll those shoulders back. Keep that breath moving. Awesome. Wiggle it out. We're gonna go into some standing hip circles here. So I don't want you to really think you gotta go a massive range there. If you lose your balance like I did right there, that's totally fine. Drive that foot into the ground. And really all you're doing here as you circle that hip back is just getting familiar with how that hip is moving. Let's go ahead and reverse directions. 
of course with any of this stuff you need a little extra time throwing some reps at the end or simply just pause the video switching legs rolling back through that hip right there and again just what feels good what helps you gather more connection here reverse in directions nice staying stable through that leg breathing and rest we're gonna link everything together here with a nice breathing or coiling march here so what you're gonna do here is drive one knee up and on that same side driving that elbow down like you're pulling something down on the other side you're gonna press that hand up and then press that foot into the ground so you're gonna notice a shortening on one side and a lengthening on the other a nice cross crawl pattern again this is all about wringing out the uh, towel today getting into those lines of the body and just opening things up last 30 seconds here exhaling as you pull that elbow down and drive that knee up and in the middle inhaling continuing to just lengthen out feel some contraction some connection through all four corners those four limbs of your body here and connecting them weaving them together with this movement awesome job today a way to show up way to get that body ready for your exercise jump into your day jump into your workout and have a great one